Today I have five tips and tricks for using Safari on iPhone. Saddle up, friends, because we're going on a Safari. Safari. Number one is that you can preview links before you click on them. So you're reading an article here and you don't want to lose your place, but you want to see what's linked to here. Well, you can just tap and hold on it and you'll get a little preview of what it is. You can open this in the background if you want to read it later, or you can just swipe it away and keep reading. Let me show you that again. You see a link here, you just tap and hold on it, oh, and you get a little preview of what it is. And sometimes you might get a suggestion to open in Wikipedia or open in Amazon or some other sort of app. Now here's number two. Now let's say you've finished reading the article and you want to jump back to the top again. Well, you don't have to scroll up and up and up. You can just tap on the status bar and boom, you're at the top. This doesn't just work in Safari, this works in other apps too. So, you know, you're, you're in a long playlist in music, you just tap on the status bar and boom, you're right at the top again. Number three, so you open a new tab and man, it's just cluttered with all this stuff in it. I don't ever look at it, I don't ever use it. Well, you can actually get rid of all this stuff. You go to the edit button at the bottom, tap that and you can just turn all these off. I don't ever look at this stuff. There you go, now you just have a little clean address bar at the bottom and nothing else to distract you. Unfortunately, the edit button doesn't go away, but no, oh, beggars can't be choosers. Now you can also go the other way. If you want a more distracting new tab experience, you can turn on background image. Now you can, you can pick your own and just, yep, that's even worse than before. Number four, let's say you're cleaning up your tabs. You close all of these, but you really want to get some of them back. You know, you closed one of them by mistake. Well, you tap and hold on this plus icon at the bottom here, and it'll show you all of your recently closed tabs. So you can bring it back just like that. Let me show you that again. Tap and hold on the plus icon, and you can bring up any recently closed tab. This brings me to number five, find on page. So we all know that's command F on the Mac. How do you do it on the phone though? You have two ways. You can just type into the address bar what you want to find, iMac G3, and underneath all the search results it might bring up, or history, there's a section where it says on this page. You can tap it and jump right to it. It's really easy. You can also find it in the share button. If you tap the share button, it's right there. Find on page. So if you ever want to embarrass a writer and point out how many times they use the M dash, you know, twice in the same sentence here, you know, you can just bring it up like that. Those are all five of my tips, but there's one more thing. This is a Siri shortcut. I honestly don't know where I got it from. Say you're in an app like Amazon, but you want to open the web page in Safari. Well, you tap the share button and you see a lot of results, but you just want to open it in the web browser. Well, open in Safari is a Siri shortcut that adds this button to the share menu right here. Tap it right there and boom, you've got the website open in Safari. Now you can copy the URL or do whatever you want with it. Again, this is a Siri shortcut. There's a link where you can download this. You don't need to know how any of this works. You just need to make sure you have show in share sheet checked, and then you can use it anywhere you want and you never have to think about it. So those are my five tips and tricks for Safari on iPhone. You can find an article version of this and a link to the Siri shortcut I referenced in the video description. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.